Good morning, students. To the vice, to the chancellor, vice chancellor, to the professors, and my fellow students. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here this morning, uh, first of all, thanking God that I'm alive today and that I'm able to sit down here and uh, not feel the way I've been feeling for the last two weeks. I've been very sick. I didn't even know that this day will open for me to be here. So that's why I said thank God. So I'll do the best that God has helped me to do. And uh, because my lecturers are here, my professors are going to help me, and um, I'll do the best. Okay. So my main um, topic today is about teens, comma, social media and technology. This is a long and heavy topic, but we'll go up about it and I'll say the reason why I chose this topic. First of all, I just want to say that uh, the landscape of social is ever changing, especially among teens who often are on the leading edge of the space. So American teenagers, um, sorry, let me start with the location. Sorry, let me start one. Yeah, let me start with the background. The background is, um, you know, uh, the study area would be Pierce County in Tacoma. And um, the population of the youth is and when I talk about the youth, I start also, also in the middle, mid teenagers and then youth. And it's about 50% of the whole population of um, Washington. And um, the age that I'm dealing with is um, between 15 and 25. So my interest is to collect data of the usage of the technology platform and find out the pros and cons of the usage. Excuse me. And um, so the landscape, like I said before, of social is ever changing, and especially among teens who often are on the leading edge of the space. And I go to the scripture, I'm sorry I didn't write that scripture, which said, God said that in the last days, technology will grow bigger. And I believe every word that God says has to happen. So this is a technology that's not going to end, but it will go higher and deeper, higher and deeper in strength. And um, American teenagers ages 13 and 19, according to known researchers, they have, uh, you know, say that TikTok has rocketed in popularity and is now among the platforms covered by the survey. So I have written down you know, some known platforms that the teens are going to use or yeah, they are using, they've been using, and it's getting deeper in their usage. And I've just, you know, wrote a few that I, you know, I couldn't remember. So there's YouTube, which is like 95 percent, TikTok, which is like 67 percent, Instagram, like 62 percent, Snapchat, 59 percent. Facebook, 
32%, Twitter, 23%, uh, WhatsApp, oh, no, Twitch, 20%, <laughs> WhatsApp, 17 Reddit, 40 And I understand there's a, the newest now is called uh, Tam, Tabir, B-I-R, which is only 5% right now. And um, then I say usage of the platform. This is the, all the platform of what I've just read. Some surveyed teens said that they use it frequently. Same 350 declares they, they use them almost constantly. And about 35%, according to the researchers who did it and the, the survey that they gave, so they gave the data. About 35% said uh, they spent too much time on social media. About the idea of giving up social media as the survey was going on and they were asked, supposing the media, um, that, that platform is all cancelled, and about the idea of giving up social media, 54% of teens say it would be at least hard to give up. Teen girls expressed it would be, you know, at least difficult to give up on social media, and that's like 58%. So beyond just online platforms, a new survey finds that the vast majority of teens have access to digital devices, like, uh, you know, such as smartphones and uh, desk, desk, desktop um, and laptop computers, which they can use, and which is like 90% of the usage, and uh, gaming consoles. Okay, thank you. So, um, my topic was based by uh, something I'm going to read if, uh, 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 if I'm allowed to do that. And this is it's a topic that was given, like an abstract, by uh, a professor, a PhD professor, Gary R. Collins. Uh, in his book, Christian Counseling, A Comprehensive Guide, Chapter 12. So if you get that book, go to Chapter 12 and you read. It deals with, the, with many problems that many of us have never experienced, those who are here right now. And we have, however, all been adolescent, teenagers, and young adults. Most of us can remember those stre uh, stressful but exciting years when we were moving through a time of life that one psychiatrist has called the most confusing, challenging, frustrating, and fascinating. And that's page 166. So teenage life consists of a multitude of emotional peaks and valleys ranging from exhilarating um, in, um, highs to depressing lows. Um, the teenager's world is often confusing and changing so quickly that immature young people do not always adjust efficiently. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I decided, one of the reasons that I decided to pick on the youth. I have a youth heart, and uh, whatever is happening to the youth, I feel I'm concerned. So within the last 20 years, and this is the findings, advent of, um, of portable technology and social media platforms has been changing accordingly, according to Mitch Princeton, Mitch Preston. Okay. Social interaction is the key to every child growth and development. Humans are social creatures and they learn through interaction. The question is, is the kind of social media interaction uh, offered by the current platform, is it all healthy? And they appear to help, you know, satiate the teens, biological and psychological needs, but not contain any of the healthy ingredients necessary to reap benefits. It's being found that social media can actually make some teen feel lonely. But is it all bad? Or is it has a bad side and, and a good side? According to 
researchers, because I, I follow these researchers, as they said, oh, it's said that it's not all good and it's not all bad. Thank you, Betty. Let's clap for her. Huh? In, in a few words, if, if you are given the opportunity, yeah. what would be your conclusion? I'm just curious. My conclusion is um, because this technology is not going away, how are we going to help the teen, the youth, the young people? to use it wisely for their own uh, um, benefits because, it, because of the side effects. So how, how are we going to use the, side, the, the good effects on the technology? So my advice is that, uh, or my, my uh, advice is for, <sighs> is for those who are especially having churches and uh, they have group, you know, like the youth group, and they have some leaders of those youth groups help the young people to use the technology for, their, for the benefit of the country, themselves and the country. And um, because I, I give an example of um, uh, this uh, Microsoft man. He made sure that uh, whatever he was, um, he was hired to work in a, in a, com in a computer place, he took some information from there and went and did what he did. And now, um, you know, whatever is being used now is from him using that. So the advice is that um, the technology that is there now, it can be helpful. So that the, the, the young people need to be told, yes, you can make use of this technology to advance the, 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 you know, the life of, um, of the nations or to advance yourself and to advance, uh, to, to come out with something that we can also help. You can get something that can make even become a millionaire using those technologies. Okay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Dr. Karogi, <laughs> you have something? Uh, yes. Uh, I, did, I didn't know this was in the Bible. You said in the last days? Technology <laughs> will get bigger, higher. Okay. I forgot the year. We will increase, sorry. Yeah, technology will increase. There's a, there's a verse. She, 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 she did not read for us. And next time she will, yeah, she will get I, the actual quotation, yeah. just don't mention because it takes a minute to yes. look for that scripture. It's in yeah. Daniel, the book of yeah. Daniel. Yeah. Okay. Knowledge shall increase. Yeah. No, it's no, no, it's no, read. No, 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 no. Well, well, it's a verse. <laughs> I think maybe the version she read <laughs> is the story. It's knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> she will reference that. Yes. Yeah. Dr. Zach. No, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Uh, oh, God. Uh, uh, here and, uh, Sorry, I'm reacting. No, because I, I wanted to. Making a presentation. Uh, uh, great work. Uh, looking at the teens and social media as, as well as technology. I, I had that question, but I wrote it down, actually, mm. because I didn't know. Uh, it, it, now I understand better where they're coming <laughs> and where you're coming from, but I had written, I want to know what scripture that addresses technology increasing. Um, because you see, you did not write the scripture, but uh, so something to just uh, work on what they have um, said. Um, what I would encourage you is to take the only the topic, okay? Mm. Anybody, and this is not for princesses, for every person who takes a topic that you want to talk about is to own it such that you can come here and do it without specifically reading from mm. what you've written. Mm. Because you know it, it's in your heart. And that is what you want to do. So that's something that I would want or to see you doing it, owning it, uh, because this is what you are doing and this is what you are struggling and this is what you want the uh, youth to do. So own it to the point that it is your passion. It is your passion. Um, other than that, I believe you will do great work in this research. Thank you.
Thank you, Princess. Uh, I'm very impressed uh, with what you are presenting today. Uh, based on what she was, she didn't want to present. Let me tell the people. But I said, no, you have to present. Mm -hmm. So I'm very impressed with what she has presented today. I I believe you are going far. A very interesting topic, but we need to mm -hmm. to know the target population. Remember, you are working with 15 year old, a very sensitive age, mm -hmm. age in this country, mm -hmm. and you will be doing study here. So if you are working with minors uh, in research, you have to get consent from their guardian, mm -hmm. you have to get consent from them, and also the, all the protocols that need to be. And then uh, maybe you, in the future you will improve on your, on your topic because you are saying uh, teens, social media, and technology. Is it the use? Uh, what the is use, yeah. The use and and this is for all of us. Remember, we are our certificate, our uh, our course is theology and biblical counseling. So whatever you do, it has to address those two. You cannot just go and do any other research. It has to address either theology or biblical counseling. So make sure that you bring in that aspect of our of our our courses yeah so is iba